Hello all, I am Nasir. Welcome back to Learn with Nasir and Fatma. In this set of videos, I am going to teach you how to calculate the total uncertainty in your final result. And if you have any difficulty in understanding the concept of uncertainty, then you can consult my previous video in this series in which I teach you the concepts of least count significant figures and assessment of uncertainty in a single measurement in detail. But now we are going to talk about how to calculate the total uncertainty in your final result. We will be talking about different cases, but before we start, let's get some definitions out of the way. These definitions will make the basis for calculating the total uncertainty in different cases. So you should properly understand these definitions before we get into calculating the uncertainties in different cases. Our first definition of today is absolute uncertainty and you should memorize that, you should remember that the absolute uncertainty is actually equal to the least count of the device with which, with which the measurement is taken. And let's take the example. The absolute uncertainty for example in case of meter rod, if we talk about meter rod, the least count of meter rod is 0.1 centimeter. So in case of absolute in case of meter rod, the absolute uncertainty of meter rod is going to be plus minus 0.1 centimeter. Taking the example of vernier calipers, the least count of vernier caliper is 0.01 centimeter. So the absolute uncertainty for vernier calipers is going to be plus minus 0.01 centimeter. Now our second definition is the fractional uncertainty. Fractional uncertainty is defined as the least count or absolute uncertainty of your device divided by the measurement that you have taken with it. So let's understand the definition of fractional uncertainty by some examples. In case of meter rod, for example, I have a measurement with the help of a meter rod and it is 12.5 centimeter and we know that the least count of the meter rod is 0.1 centimeter. So in case of meter rod, the fractional uncertainty in this case is going to be using this definition, least count which is also equal to absolute uncertainty divided by the measurement and your result is going to be 0 0.008 and this is your fractional uncertainty. So the third definition that you need to remember is the percentage uncertainty and this definition is very similar to fractional uncertainty except that in the end you multiply with 100. So the percentage uncertainty is equal to the least count of the measuring device which is also equal to the absolute uncertainty divided by the measurement that you have taken and in the end multiplied by 100 to get the percentage. So in case of meter rod, let's take the same example as we took in the case of fractional uncertainty that the measurement is 12.5 cm and the least count of your meter rod is 0.1 cm. So percentage uncertainty will be simply your least count or absolute uncertainty divided by your measurement and this time you will multiply by 100. And if you remember the value of fractional uncertainty came out to be 0 0.008 in this case. So you will simply multiply 0 0.008 by 100 and your result is going to be 0.8%. So this is actually the percentage uncertainty in your measurement. So I hope that these three main definitions are clear and with these main definitions out of our way we can jump into the calculations of total uncertainty. I will start with the case of addition and subtraction and will move further and if you understood the concepts that I explained please leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends as well and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.